Uh, Vikram, congratulations. Uh, sorry, through to final day for the first time in, in six years in the T20 Blast. Uh, just give me an idea of what that dressing room is looking and feeling like right now. Yeah, very pleased, um, and they should be. They've worked extremely hard over the, uh, the group stages, and to win in the fashion we have in this quarterfinal against a very good Kent side is, uh, is something they can be proud of. What did you make of 169 for two on this pitch? Were you happy with that batting performance from, from Hashim Amler and, and Jason Roy? Did you feel that that was defendable? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it was a difficult pitch and, and the way they set the innings up, I think, made it look perhaps a better pitch than it, than it was. I think it was a difficult pitch to score on. It was sort of bigger boundaries as well. They ran very well and, you know, that partnership of 114 uh, really did set things up. So uh, all credit to them, really. And you managed to pick Jason Roy back up. He was having a, a bit of a lean summer and now 250s against Kent in this competition. He's probably wishing that he could take Kent with him uh, into finals day. What, what do you make of you know, the way that he's now playing? It feels like he's, he's really clicking. Jason Roy's a fine player. It's only a matter of time that fine players do play good, good innings. Uh, and he's played two important knocks for us. Uh, hopefully, you know, he can continue the form he's in. Like I said, he's a very, very fine player. So, you know, you can't keep him down for too long. We've obviously got to talk about Will Jacks. Four for 15 off four overs. And at the start of this competition, he wasn't even taking the ball. So, you know, what do you make of his, his evolution, his development and his sheer talent as, as an off-spinner? Yeah, look, I, I think it's, it's always been spoken about. He has, a, he has an ability to spin the ball. He's quite smart. He thinks like a, like a batter when he bowls. Um, he's, been, he's been brilliant this year. He's grown in confidence, he's taken on a far, far greater degree of responsibility with the bat, but then with the ball he's just sort of added to everything really. Um, so he's had a fantastic tournament, but he's worked extremely hard and deserves all the success he gets. Just tell us a little bit about Will uh, as a person, because it feels like to me when I've spoken to him, he, he has confidence, but he has humility as well, works incredibly hard at his game. You know, would you say he's a, a good person in the dressing room, someone that is, is easy to coach and manage and, and develop? Yeah, very much so. Very much so. We must, uh, as, a, as, a, as a sort of expectation on young players, be patient. And I think that's, that's what we need to be with Will. He's, he's got fantastic ability, of course he has. And he's quite a dynamic player in this format. He's quite eye-catching, of course. Um, he's an athlete and all of those things. But we must be patient with him as well. And, and what we've tried to do is for him to sort of understand he must be patient with himself. And he's maturing, he's understanding his game far better. Uh, and he's making good contributions. But as far as him in the dressing rooms, he, he's, he's just growing as a cricketer and as a person. Chatting to some of the journalists uh, over in the 1845 stand a little earlier on, they described Will as a, a frightening talent. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he's aware of his own uh, ability. But I suppose how much um, is there a responsibility within the dressing room also to help him keep his feet on the ground I'm sure he does it anyway but you know, he's been nominated shortlisted for PCA Young Player of the Year he's, he's leading the MVP standings in, in the T20 class of the PCA as well um, you know is it something that's actually difficult with him or is he actually managing it himself no I think he's getting to understand that it's it's the work that he's put in that's got him into the position he's in at the moment uh, and he's and I repeat myself he's worked extremely hard on all aspects of his game on all aspects of sort of understanding how to deal with uh, you know, the, the good and the bad the game throws at you. Mm. And he's getting better and better at it. So uh, you know, I, couldn't, I couldn't speak highly enough of him. Uh, and, and one of a, a number of young talents who has emerged this season, I mean, at the start of the campaign, Vikram, it, it was admittedly a challenge to, to pick a side, but you had to blood some young players. And it's not just the likes of Will, but Gus Atkinson and, and, and Dan Moriarty too, who have really proved their worth. How pleased are you with their development? Yeah, very much so. Um, Dan has taken, again, to, to sort of come in and bowl those difficult overs in the power play. Um, he's gone about it very well. He's, uh, he's, he's taken on everything that uh, Gareth Batty has uh, had to offer him in terms of advice and, and, and sort of coaching. Uh, and Gus Atkinson, Atkinson just doesn't seem to get phased by anything, really. Um, uh, yeah, you know, there have been a number of instances when we've, we've asked Gus to do some difficult work as well. And that's been the impressive thing. Some of the young guys have had to do some tough work and they've really sort of risen to that challenge. Mm. And now we head to, to finals day at Edge Baston in a couple of days' time. Um, obviously, Surrey have the momentum, both on and off the field of play, with the players returning from England bubbles and from injury and the young talents proving their worth as well. How do you manage the situation? A squad of 17 was named for today. You've got options, but dilemmas too, Vikram. Yeah, and, and it's, it's a nice dilemma to have, really, isn't it? Um, 
I think how we manage it is we, we get up and we treat finals day as as we have all of the other games. We've sort of tried to prepare ourselves as best we can, um, been minded about uh, the opposition who we're playing against and, and put in place the sort of game plans we have. Uh, we've asked guys to, uh, to sort of take responsibility and they've done that and it'll be much the same hopefully in finals day. Eight wins on the bounce make it 10 and, and you've got a trophy. It's been such a difficult and challenging year in so many respects. What would that mean for Surrey County Cricket Club? Yeah, it, it, it'd be the best thing. But again, we'll just take the next game first and, and then consider our options or rather consider the game after that. So all, all we'll focus on is a semi-final uh, and then we'll look at things after that. Congratulations once again. Good luck in a couple of days. Thank you. Thanks very much.